Hello and welcome to this DrawScript tutorial on the Wi-Fi Editor. Uh, DrawScript Wi-Fi Editor is an integrated development environment that runs in most browsers. You can access it via a PC, Linux machine, Mac, uh, even a Google Chromebook um, via the web browser. And it allows you to edit, create, delete all your apps and you can uh, use a use the editor, you can access assets, you can even open it in multiple versions of the editor in different tabs through the same browser and you have all your tutorials, docs, uh, easily accessible on the right hand side, the debug window as well. And wi -Fi, the Wi-Fi editor is accessed via your mobile app, the DroidScript app. And very easy to do so. All you do is you open up your DrawScript app. I'm just going to show you here. At the top of your app, you see the Wi Fi symbol, you do, and you just simply press it, glows up green, and dialog box appears with an IP address. And it's this IP address that you type in to your browser, and you can see. I'll reload the brow, reload it just to show you and up comes the Wi-Fi editor and it connects to there. If you press OK on your screen you'll get the waiting um, uh, page. Let me show you how to run an app now. I'll just move this display over there. Once you're in the code editor here it's very simple. At the top of the code editor you see a series of little action buttons here and just press this one to run or you can type a alt R using the keyboard. So if you press press the run, now if you look on your phone that's connected, you will see um, your app run. In this instance, it says hello world and a button, press me. And that is as simple as that. You can stop an app by pressing the stop. And it goes back to the waiting screen there. Now to see all your apps, you the app launcher screen on the editor by clicking this button here then you'll see all your apps so simply to open an app you just press press the one you need and it opens up the editor the code editor for that specific app and you can just press another one so to run an app you have to be in in the app first and then press the play button here and then look at your phone and then you'll see the run. Now to change an app is very simple in the, the editor, the code editor, you just basically type where you want. We've got it saying hello Bob here, so we'll just put that back to hello world. And you can press play, you don't have to save. You can press the save if you want, but you can just press run and run will save it as well. You can see the asterisk disappear on there. And if you check your phone now, you will see it says hello world from hello Bob. And it's as simple as that to run an app and change a little app. Let's now run our app using the debug tab to see what's going on in the background. And we can also um, write to the debug panel so we can use that for debugging and um, so forth. So if you look at this sample code here, we've got console log here called image added. So we want to also see that appear in the debug panel. To do that, you can access it via the right hand side, right panel of the screen, and it's the fourth tab along. So you click on debug, and you will see the output from running this sample app, which we did um, just a short while ago. As you can see, it's already written image added here as well. Just added that there which is what that is there, and it shows you what's going on. And you can also um, write to this and access code um, global variables in your app uh, as you go along, which can be really useful. And as you can see, there's a list of commands here, which uh, you can also use to um, display in the screen. One of them being logcat, which is A log of the um, native Android machine and you can see all of the different things going on um, 
to actually make your app work, which is quite quite a lot. And that's debug mode. Now I'm going to show you. I'm going to introduce you to the rest of the main features of the Wi-Fi editor. Uh, starting with the top, the toolbar here on the left. Now pressing the top one shows you the apps. This is where the app launcher screen is. It's where all your apps sit. This is where you can create new apps. And to edit an app, you can just click on any of these to edit um, uh, your apps. This loads up the code editor, which you're already familiar with. And you've seen next one is the assets. This is where you can upload your resources, so your images, sounds, HTML, miscellaneous, for example. A device browser, this is what it says, browse your device. Scratchpad is where you can edit and, and play around with some JavaScript code and run it within the browser itself. So you can press play there, runs Hello World. This is a file search, so you can do a global um, search through multiple files within your application. So you have your apps here. You can search uh, text search within all of the applications. Um, next is a terminal. So this is where you can view various things within your uh, device. Next one here is where you can do a diff file diff between different files. And at the bottom is a uh, language generating files so you can create multiple language um, files multiple support multiple languages within your application let's now create a new JavaScript app using the editor to do that you just go to the app launcher screen here as we see click on new JavaScript app and we type in a name for our app and choose a template in this instance we're going to choose simple but there are others available. You can choose a game, background service, job, web server, multi-page, information kiosk. Just a way of getting you started up and running quickly with a built-in template. Now, once we create our new app, it opens up with the editor. Simple as that, and you can run straight away. So if you press run, and if you look at your device now, you'll see, as we can see in this demo here, it just says, hello, and with a nice clear blank screen. <clears throat> and we can add to the thing very easily. Let's just let's just create a button. So we're gonna do um, app dot add button and you can see all the um, code helping here. You can see that tells you there we need to add A. Then we have some text click me and then we've got width height and options so for this example we don't need any of those but we're actually now telling it to add a button to our layout so let's see what happens when we run this if you run that now you can check your um, device and you'll see a button here underneath called click me so it's that simple to create an app and to edit that app and if you press stop now Go back to your launcher screen, you'll see your app already there on your device. And just tap that again to uh, load up the editor. Now let's have a look at the samples that come with Droid Script. We can use them, those in our code to extend or to grow our code quickly um, or to help us build and get around a problem. Now to access the samples through the editor, you need the right hand panel and there's a tab here called samples and that's it and as you can see there's lots of samples that come with uh, Droid Script already built in to <clears throat> cater for lots of different needs if we just click on one here um, the code appears within the panel here and you can run the app directly from here by just pressing the play button then if you check your phone you'll see the app run and so you can check and see if, if it's what you want and how it's um, built. 
Also at the top of the sample list is a filter, text filter, so you can um, filter down the um, samples if you want. So if you want, for example, an animation sample, you type in animate or animation and, and you'll get whatever's there. The tab next to samples, you will find docs. And this is where you can access all the reference guides and resources for DroidScript. And I just go to, I show here, go into the reference, and then you can see <coughs> all of the active documentation for um, controls, for example, if you go to create an image, you'll see all of the information and instructions you need. Now, alongside a lot of this documentation, you'll see many examples. And in each example, um, you can copy, paste the code, but you can also run it. So every example you see, you'll, you'll find, um, whenever you see a run button, you can run it as its own um, app. So if you just press run and check your phone now, you'll see that specific demonstration working and running. And you can do that with many, many of the examples. And you can copy the po copy the code directly into your app very easily, which makes the active documentation a great resource to uh, dive into and to, to go if you have any, any problems or you want to know how to do something. It's a really good resource to, um, to have. And this is all the, the methods that you'll see here listed at the bottom of each um, document. And what's next on here? We also then have plugins on here. Now this, the plugins list on the browser are then just pointing to what's on your installed on your phone. As you can see, install plugins. We've got UI extras, APK builder. So if I press one of these, you'll see the documentation for that specific plugin and how to use it into your uh, your application so that's really that's really quite um, well really very good and you've got picker here again another example so we can we could run that and it comes here and you've got this list here UI extras so that's how to access the documentation for your plugins also. And we have extensions, again, what's installed. This is actually what you see on the left of the editor here. As you can see, these are extensions. And you can also remove them as well by pressing the button here if you want to delete them. Now I want to take you back to the code editor and show you another form of documentation in the form of code completion that comes with Droid Script. Now let's take you back here. Now this is our um, sample app which we created before. If I press run on then, check your phone, you'll see hello and a button called click me. So if we just type in something here, press the dot, and you can get code completion on the um, editor quite quite simply, quite easily. And you can press that button and it comes in with all of the instructions you need. Now also, you, what you'll see on the end of the code completion sentences, you'll see a little green question mark here. And if you tap that, it will take you directly to the documentation uh, for that specific features function. So if we tap this, I'm just move this phone out of the way, you'll see you've gone directly to the uh, resource reference for that documentation, which is really good and very uh, quick way of finding out extra help on what it is you need to type. So if we continue, just continue this a moment, I can show you again what I mean. So if you've got lay dot, and we've got more text. So 
So um, press mean, and then we have width and height and options. Again, we don't need that. So we're just saying we've got two buttons here. Press play and check your phone, and you'll see press me and click me. Uh, one more thing to show you in the editor, and that is the links to the Droid Script Discussion Forum and online tutorials. And you can access these through the Home tab. You've got the News tab, Tutorials and Help and Store. This is where Tutorials and Help provide. Uh, this is where you'll find the general tutorials, general um, game view, offline tutorials, and the links to the official Droid Script Forum and the Droid Script Community Wiki. Now, I encourage you to go on to the forum. It's a very active place to, um, if you get stuck, to find out how to do something or just to learn something new, or, um, yeah, things like that. For general tutorials, this is a good start. Starting point, it can tell, show you how to get started and create some basic apps, basically just how you display text, images, adding a text box and so forth. So that's the tutorials. And uh, next up we have the uh, DrawScript store where users can upload and share their own apps. So other users can download them, uh, extend them, do whatever they want with them. There's a search box here so you can um, search the list. It's uh, getting quite active now as well. There are lots of apps um, coming up um, very regular. So do um, take a look and play around with it. And that is it for now. This is the tutorial finished and that was your sort of detailed introduction to the JoyScript Wi-Fi editor. And basically just, just have a play with it. It's, um, see what you can come up with, build and share with the world.